Hi guys, uh, it's Sunday morning. i uh, just replaying Friday's data here and been waiting quite a while but I decided to start recording now. Uh, price action has finally gained gained some momentum and got some legs I guess you'd say here with uh, price breaking through 99. I'm targeting this area up here. There's also room below below 98 so we're right on the even dollar boundaries. Been living between 98 and 99. Um, now got some pace of tape. Um, these bulls have tried to push this up several times. I've been watching. Uh, each time it failed, but we have been making higher lows. So I think the bulls are are starting to demonstrate some muscle here. Also, another factor is this dollar. If you look at this dollar, it's dangerously low to uh, this bottom trend line now. It's right on it. So uh, a big explosion below this, you know, would would uh, favor uh, uh, bullish action in the, in the oil. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right. So uh, it looks like it's taking a breather here and consolidating around 99. And we'll come back in just a minute. Okay. Just 60 seconds later or so, we are coming through the BMT up here. And uh, that uh, would signify to me that this if this gets legs, this is going to go. And here we are again, right at 99, consolidating action here, watching for big money buyers, watching for tape to turn up. Looks uh, looks pretty interesting here. I'm getting ready. I have a fast track 10-10 strategy loaded. Um, I don't know where the entry will be, certainly above 99.05 or 6, somewhere above 06. Uh, just watching for some signs of life here. Okay, now we've dropped in the tape a little bit more. Uh, maybe it's going to pull back even further, but here we go. Now we got something going. I'm, I'm in. Okay, I got in maybe a second too soon. It would have been nicer to wait, maybe wait for this retracement here, but here's the big buyers clearly uh, committing at 95, oh, 99.05 and 12 and 10 and 13. Another big push probably. Uh, we'll take this thing all the way off. Good pace of tape. Um, dollar has just sunk. Dollar has just sunk uh, to a new low. I would try to pull that screen down here, but I don't want to miss this. Uh, whatever's going to happen here. So we're we're on the way. A couple of sellers creeping in there. Higher action. Higher action. Here comes some more buyers. More buyers. We're in there. We may get a chance to reload. Let's see new lows on the dollar here's higher highs okay let's I'm gonna take it right here would have been nice maybe to wait for a little more of a pullback but that's good enough for me alright there's two in a row look at this pace of tape this is perfect wave action probably could go again could we get it from 99 50s to 60 something I'm not I'm not up for it because of this little four or five bars but look at it go it may indeed hit the 60. It is going to hit the 60. So we could have took a third swipe at it there easily. Now look at the big sellers, though. Big sellers. I'm just not going to take it that far, that close to the edge. But the dollar breaking down definitely helped with that. Also, there's stopping action showing up down here on the four range. That's a good sign to exit also. So well, there you go. Um, these turned down also. By the way, the momentum indicators were not in the right place to take this trade. They were, they were into overbought territory but the pressure buildup was pretty clear with the pace of tape and then the big buyers jumping on so I would overrule these momentum indicators as long as they're not like in this position right here this is definitely you know you don't have to even have glasses to or eyes to know that we're in a big drop now and it probably could have shorted uh, some of that but anyway there's uh, two quick uh, fast track winners in a very short period of time on absolutely perfect setup uh, all except for the momentum indicators.